Raspberry Pi sales are through the roof as more and more people are working from home during their school work at home. Uh, Owen Hughes with Tech Republic is here with me to talk about this. First of all, Owen, welcome to our team. I know this is the first uh, video chat you'll be doing here with us. We're glad to have you, you know, starting off uh, here with a story about Raspberry Pi. Uh, again, sales are through the roof. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, I think it was 640,000 um, sales in March, which is the biggest, second biggest uh, month for sales since they started selling. So there's really big numbers. Um, there's not really a clear answer about as to why they've shot up, but I think we can make some pretty uh, educated guesses based on the current situation. So a lot of people will know that um, Raspberry Pi was originally released as a sort of a tool for helping people learn to code. And since then it's become a bit of a hobbyist play thing. So people like to hack stuff together and make them run on Pi computers, do a lot of kind of uh, fun and quirky things. Um, and it's plenty of interesting videos on YouTube showing what really clever people have been able to put together. But also from what uh, Eben Upton, who's the founder of the company has told me was that there appears to be um, actually quite strong consumer demand for them. So uh, one thing that, what the, that the pandemic has obviously done is shut down offices and schools, which means that families who might usually have one shared computer are now all jostling for use over that computer to do schoolwork or you know office work or whatever so really owen the you know in the the price point on the raspberry mm. pi that's obviously one of the things that makes it so attractive again because if you've got say three kids that they're all fighting over one chromebook and then mom and dad are possibly working at home and and uh this is a you know a, a cheap way to get a device into, into kids' hands or in the adults' hands for that matter. Sure, and the key thing to remember about Raspberry Pi is that they're very basic computers and they're also very inexpensive. So the consumer model of the Raspberry Pi 4 is only gonna set you back between 35 and $55. Um, that's depending on which model you go for, uh, which means you know, you're not getting a, a cutting edge computer, but if you want to do something that lets you say use Office uh, 365, um, send emails, surf the web, use Facebook. You can, you can essentially do all of that with the Raspberry Pi. So yeah, it makes a pretty cost-effective solution for families or just budget conscious folk who um, want an inexpensive machine to work at home from. Oh, and you know, the, the, the thing about the Raspberry Pi, of course people just think the name in and of itself, it's, you know, kind of quirky and, and, and funny, uh, but it's, you know, I feel like it's one of those less understood machines by, by you know, the mass public doesn't, uh, most people don't tend to know what it is. And so maybe now with this pandemic and again, uh, people being stuck at home, it's, it's actually time people can find out what it's capable of and why it might be a fit for them. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And uh, by the sounds of it, people are kind of a lot of people are finding that the laptops they would usually buy, perhaps uh, if they're not too expensive for them and the whole family, then they may well be out of stock. You know, there's been a huge demand shock on uh, manufacturers um, due to this working from home shift, which has happened very suddenly. And uh, I think people are just kind of caught on to this fact that you can get a very, very basic machine for not a lot of cash at all. And um, people are jumping on that as rightly they should. Yeah, definitely something to consider. Uh, all right, well, Owen, thanks again for being here with us today. Welcome once again to the team. And uh, I know you've uh, put a couple of articles together here for us at Tech Republic. Of course, you can check those out, everybody, uh, on Tech Republic and ZDNet as well. And we appreciate you all watching.